What's up lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, we are heading out to a Reptile Expo here in Ontario, Canada. Now this happens to be the very first Reptile Expo of this year, so I'm pretty excited to see what the breeders and the vendors bring to the Reptile Expo because oftentimes, you know, around this time they're trying to make space, so they're gonna bring a lot of different things. And especially because breeding season is right now, like as we speak, oftentimes they might have things from last year that they might want to sell so i'm just excited to see what they bring now the reptile expos are always exciting for me so i'm a little bit um up and about so right now i'm gonna pack my bags and head out to this reptile expo so without further ado let's go That's my favorite part You walk around so clueless to it all Wait, hold on. Did you guys really think I was gonna use my bike to go to the Reptile Expo? That look, okay? You not see the snow way? I just put some, some air in my tires and I just wanted to try it out so when the summertime comes, I'm ready, Holmes. That look, okay? I'm gonna take this to the Reptile Expo. What do you think this is? <laughs> Me, I got you covered. I'm gonna be your lover. You might be the one. Okay, so as you can see right now, we are in front of the conference center here. Um, the Reptile Expo is being held right behind me, so I'm gonna head inside because it's a lot warmer in there. And then I'm gonna do a little montage for you guys. So let's go. whether the, or not they were gonna get it and they ended up actually getting it which is actually pretty cool to hold Sky once again. As you can see, I'm here at the Reptile Expo. I'm hanging out with Sky, and she's just a beautiful, beautiful bird right here. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. That no. birds. You're not gonna run for it, are you? <laughs> where, where would I run to? Yeah. I gotta go pee. Okay. <laughs> I'm stuck. But I want you guys to check this out. I have birds on my head. I have birds just chilling here. Wow, this is this is quite the experience, I gotta say. Right, Sky? What do you think, Sky? What do you think about this? Yeah? All right, so we're here at Monarch Reptiles once again. I had to stop by because they always have some interesting stuff, and I'm holding a Indian Samboa, which is like super, super cool. Look at like the face, look at that. These guys have like such a neat face, has such a nice coloration, and honestly, like, 
I don't think I've ever seen one at the show. I've seen samples, but I, I don't think I've seen this one. Look at the tail. It's almost like the head. And I believe this one's like fully grown as well, which is super cool. Like I always like seeing the different stuff that they have. They have, you know, king snakes, corn snakes, they have ball pythons. And oh, look, this one's yawning. <laughs> this Indian sambo right here. Look at that, look at that little face. So you can see the different stuff that they have ranging from an albino carpet python. We got another carpet python, a zebra head albino carpet python right here. And then we have a Brazilian rainbow boa as well as um, different, different, different things like leopard geckos. Then we have the sambo as well, Pac-Man frogs. I believe they also have some isopods as well. All right, so she told me that they have something different than reptiles oh my god look at that this happens to be wilbert and look how beautiful this guy is such a cool cool guy skinny pig oh my goodness that is so cool so we're here at the show at Kurwana exotics and they're holding right here a purple passion I believe it's a female and that is just an amazing snake look at this so any of you guys out there who might be interested in a ball python and want something that looks very neat, very beautiful, and kind of has a nice name as well as Purple Passion, come check them out at the Reptile Expo next time you guys come. Because look at that. Oh my god. Okay, so I don't know if you guys could see, but it is packed. Like, I mean, at some points it almost is shoulder to shoulder. I did not expect this to be like this, like this many people. But you guys could just see how many people are like walking around. Look at this. It's like shoulder to shoulder over here. So the more people actually come to the show and um, want to get educated about reptiles, the better. Because that is awesome to see this community grow. So, so many people just walking around. So many different booths. So many amazing reptiles. Damn. Alright, so we're here at Peter Williams Reptiles. And as you can see, they have a GHI Mojave champagne male right here for sale he says he's not gonna take <laughs> 799 dollars for it but <laughs> he wants 800 dollars for this beautiful beautiful snake and honestly I, I i just love it like look at the grays the whites the freckles even the head right there the eyes everything about the snake is just amazing so i don't know Maybe, maybe, just maybe he'll take 799. I don't think so. I don't think <laughs> so. <That's 99 cents. laughs> that is crazy. Okay, so we're here at A and A Dragons, and a lot of you guys might have um, been wondering where I got BB and where I got some of my zero bearded dragons as well. And it happens to be here at the Reptile Expo, and I just happened to fall in love with this one, as you could see. Look at this beauty. I believe it's just a hypo, but it's like super orange. Look at that. Wow. This is just a regular hypo, I believe, but it's like super, super orange. Like a, also has like leather back as well, so it might be a hypo leather back. But it's just a beautiful, beautiful bearded dragon. Look at this. Holy snap. So if you guys were ever wondering where I got BB, where I got um, Sub Zero and all of my other bearded dragons. Come check out A and A Dragons and check out the ones that they might have um, displayed. So honestly, it's really super cool to be, you know, behind the booths checking out things that you know might be interesting. Like they have all kinds of stuff. Like look at this guy. They have so many different types of frogs, different types of lizards. I'm always like very curious to see what they have. And he pulled out a couple things that I'm gonna check out later on but just an amazing, amazing setup um, here at the Reptile Expo. Look at this, holy snap. All right, so we're here at Port Credit Reptiles, right? Yep. And they have a file snake that is just an amazing species. Look at the scales on this guy. I don't think I've ever seen like this type of scales on a snake, especially like this is such a beauty and it is for sale, right? So you guys could come at poor credit and check them out look at that 250 for this snake such a beautiful snake i actually might have to pick this up which is crazy and then of course we have another snake here happens to be the red tail green rat snake um, honestly such a beautiful snake as well really green has that red tail as well 
that makes it just really bright and vibrant. Um, I honestly really like this one because <laughs> if you feel the scales, it almost feels like a lizard where it's like very um, like deep and very like thick. But honestly, the face is what gives it away. Like the face is just, look at that. Holy snap. <laughs> All right, so we bumped into Cassandra right here and she just purchased a crusted gecko right here, which is a super tiny, beautiful crusted gecko. So are you enjoying the show or no? Yes, I love <laughs> Make sure you leave your wallet at home next time. Yeah. <laughs> so we bumped into Mason and he picked up a tree frog. And just look at how beautiful this guy is. Such a beautiful frog. And of course, he picked up some air plants as well that he's gonna be putting in some of his enclosures. And it's just awesome to see, you know, People who are subscribed to the channel come up to me and show the things that they pick up. I'm not picking up anything. <laughs> I actually left my wallet at home purposely, but I'm always I'm always living through you guys basically. So I appreciate it. So we're here with Summer and she just happens to bring some reed frogs that she picked up. She has two yellow ones and then she has a nice green one right here. Let me see if I can zoom in. Look at that. Now, I'm not a big frog guy, but I love seeing these guys and I love seeing how like the different colors that they have. Do you have like an enclosure that you're planning to build or? Uh, no, I've already built it. Oh, you I've already built it? These guys forever. Oh my God. So you're, you're probably like super excited. Oh yeah. So I'm like living through you. When I can't get something, I'm like, you know, I, she's excited. I'm excited too. Wow, that's so cool. Are you planning on getting maybe dart frogs in the future? Uh, maybe. I, they're really expensive though, so I'm not looking at that just oh, no? yet. But for now, I'm just going to stick with these guys. I that is so yeah, cool. Really well, thank you for showing me your reed frogs. <laughs> look how tiny this is. Holy snap, look at this. It's like the smallest little thing I've ever seen. It's like a little tiny rock. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. Check this out. Wow. Look how big this guy is. Now this girl right here is Twizzler. And you guys could come and say hi. What's your, uh, you have a Facebook or? Yeah, take the card. Right, you guys could come and check out, you know, the, some amazing crusted geckos here at the Reptile Expo. But these guys, look at, this is like the biggest one I've ever seen. Look at that. Yeah. This is as big as the guy's hand, look. We'll be back on the 24th. Oh my goodness. All right, um, I think I'll go home. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby. You can sit on the table. As you can see, we're right here with Reptile Kingdom, right? And they have just different variety of, you know, reptiles. They have like some really beautiful racers. They have some milk snakes. I believe they also have like, um, look at that, they have some tarantulas. They have so many different types of varieties that you guys could, uh, um, look through that honestly I'm trying to see which one I could highlight but there's one over here all right I want you guys to check this guy out it happens to be a Madagascar plated lizard and I just honestly I don't know why I just think they look so interesting so prehistoric especially the back the tail it's like a different type of scales than most um, lizards just a beautiful beautiful guy and look at the little face Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so I want you guys to check out this red foot tortoise right here. Check how tiny this is, and look at the different types of colorations that it has. Honestly, this is like the greatest thing. I've already held, this is the second tortoise I've held this show, and I'm starting to like just love them. Maybe in the future, I'd get one and see what I could do, or maybe I'll just put it in my pocket. <laughs> but these guys are super, super awesome, man. Holy snap. Hey, this is probably the coolest thing that's going on here at the Reptile Expo. He just put this little tiny frog on this leaf. Holy snap. Okay, hold on, hold on. I thought I was a little bit crazy when it came to um, the tarantulas, but they just told me they bought eight tarantulas. Let's see what they have here. I don't actually know how many we have at home. You know what? I think this one escaped. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, holy snap. Just They're a all bag tiny. of tarantulas. They're all that is super cool. Which one's your favorite in there? I don't know. I don't know yet. 
No? I might, but have, I might have to answer that next time I see you. But they're like this tiny and they're so cool. Okay, so the Reptile Expo is coming to an end, but I did have to stop by Pet Paradise once again because I seen this very interesting creature. Look at that. It almost has like pine cone tail. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you could tell me a little bit about what yeah, these guys sure. are. So their common name is actually a pine cone lizard. Oh wow, uh, I, I so almost got it right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's a type of stink, uh, skink from Australia. Uh, kind of similar care to like a blue tongue skink. Um, this guy is a baby. They're pretty rare again. There wasn't many exported out of Australia. So uh, you see them a little bit in the States, a little bit in Europe, uh, but they're pretty rare here up in Canada. So this is a ca little captive bred baby. Uh, it was born in the summer. Wow. So uh, yeah, very unique species. They like it really hot, uh, hotter than a bearded dragon for, for the hot spot. And they're, they'll mainly eat insects, uh, they'll also eat like rapashi, grub pie, and stuff like that. So for anyone who wants like a unique lizard, definitely a great option. That, I've never seen one in person. I've only seen one on Instagram, and it just so happens to be from Japan. So like, I've never seen one in yeah. Canada. So to see one in person here, it is super cool. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are pretty happy that I got um, to see this and showcase it as, as well. But you said you also have a YouTube channel that they yep. could check you guys out. Yeah, so we started a YouTube channel recently. It's just Pet Paradise London. Uh, we're a pet store. We do full service. We do fish. We do reptiles. We're starting to do some unboxing videos. We we're going to do some store tours and That's tell people about cool. species like this. So let me know in the comment section down below if you would like for me to come and visit Pet Paradise and see basically some amazing, amazing creatures because I definitely am curious to see what else these guys have. Yeah. All right, so check out this Cree ball right here. Such a beautiful, this is the very first time ever held holding one. Holy snap, look at this. Whoa, such a beautiful, beautiful snake right here. These guys get extremely like nice, big, and so awesome. And it did shed. When I did record it earlier, it was in shed. But look at the color now that it's completely off. So you guys who didn't purchase this have missed out on such a beautiful snake. Look at the eyes. Wow. Such a beautiful snake. Okay, so as you could see, the Reptile Expo is packing up. Mutation creation over here. <laughs> to Austin with it. But basically, um, they brought Ducky to the show, right? So a lot of you guys got to see her in person, which was pretty awesome. But the show is packing up. Um, so I do have to head home and basically do a little bit of reptile work as well. But I'm gonna be helping out, you know, mutation creation, kind of pack up and basically have all the snakes safely and secured back at the facility. So without further ado, what are you doing, bro? This is what happens, man. I was gonna say, without further ado, let's go. And I just see Austin just jumping on the thing. But, yeah, but I mean, look at this. Look at Ducky. This is your daily dose of Ducky. Daily dose of Ducky! Look at that. Daily dose of Ducky. So, let's head back to the place. Let's go. Yeah, I don't really care if you cry. All the real you should have never lied. Should have saw the way she looked me in my eyes. She said, baby, I am not afraid to die. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Oh, snap. <laughs> it's heavy, bro. You're over here. <laughs> I'm extremely satisfied of the outcome. There were so many of you guys, there were so many people there as well, which is a good thing because that means this community is always growing. Now, I know by now you're probably thinking, what did Lord of Lion pick up at this Reptile Expo? You see, lately I've been kind of holding myself back and, and kind of putting my wallet inside of the car or leaving it at home because I'm trying to not get as many reptiles. I'm trying to focus on the ones that I already have, um, you know, build and update their enclosures. So if this year you see me getting just less reptiles, 
then just don't be alarmed, you know. Um, it's nothing going on crazy, but I am gonna be producing my own reptiles, which is pretty exciting. <laughs> but I did pick up this crystal. Um, I did pick up some rodents for my snakes, and I did pick up some crickets and superworms. But you know, all of those good stuff. Just focusing on basically the reptiles that I already have. I am gonna be updating their enclosures and building them new ones. So stay posted with that. You know, you can kind of see the one at the background right here. You see that? Oh yeah. I'm gonna make a video about that soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So hit that notification button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and also give this video a like if you like this video. It helps support this channel. But with that being said, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm Lord Lion. Keep the blood pumping, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Me, I got you covered, I'm gonna be your lover, you might be the one, if it's only tonight.